Well, hello, geometers and seekers of truths. In this video, we will study some of the lesser known quadrilaterals, but some of the more interesting ones. Um, these two are called trapezoids and kites. Okay? So let's get right to it with a couple of definitions. So a trapezoid is a quadrilateral with two parallel sides and two non-parallel sides. Okay. The parallel sides, we call them leg, bases, excuse me, the parallel sides, we call them bases, and the non-parallel sides, we call them legs. Um, in an isosceles trapezoids, we have the legs being congruent to each other as well. So it's always helpful now, after we have the definition, to uh, take a look at a couple of pictures. So let's get right to that, okay? So um, suppose I have a quad, uh, trapezoid that looks like so. So let's name this shape A, B, C, D. Um, what makes this a trapezoid? We, we have to show that the top part here is all right. So with these parallel lines, uh, A, B, and D, C, we call those the bases. So A, B, and B, C are bases. Excuse me, A, B, and D, C. All right, A, B, and D, C are basis. And then A, D, these two lengths over here, and B, C. Okay, are legs. All right, so two parallel sides, two non-parallel sides. Now, in a isosceles trapezoid, let's get an example of that as well. So something like this, where you have one set of sides being parallel to the other set of sides. Okay? And in addition to that, we have the, the legs, or this leg and this leg are congruent to each other. Okay? So basic, basic definitions. Um, you have bases and legs. Okay. Uh, the one other thing I want to mention is that we, because we have those bases, um, we can also consider some of these piece, some of these angles here, base angles. And there's like there's like two sets of base angles. So there's a set of base angles here. Angle A and B is one pair of base angles, and angle C and D is another pair. So they are angles that are adjacent to the same base. Okay, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Now, let's move on to kites. Okay, so a kite, um, similar to a trapezoid in that it is hardly ever used, or it should be used more often, um, and it has a lot of, of the more interesting property, but a kite is basically a quadrilateral with two pairs of congruent sides. Okay, so let's draw this picture first. And then uh, we will we will try to well, I'll explain it a little bit better. Okay, so and you can think of this if you know, as as a toy kite, uh, it's pretty well defined that in that context. So you have a pair of sides here that are congruent to uh, to each other, and then another set of pairs here that is congruent to each other as well. Okay but all four of them are not congruent. So the first, so let's see, we'll call this R and S, T and U, okay? So R, S, T, U, so R, S and R, U are congruent and T, S and T, U are congruent, but all four of them are not congruent to each other. Otherwise, uh, they would be a rhombus. Okay, so let's put this definition down as well, a kite. It's a quadrilateral with two separate pairs of congruent sides. Okay, and I want to emphasize here the word separate. Um, you have congruent sides here, congruent sides here, but these two pairs are, are distinct from each other. Uh, not all, all four of these sides lengths cannot be equal to each other. Once again, otherwise, what you would have is a rhombus. All right, so we we have so far uh, defined these these two shapes and the special case of the trapezoid. Uh, you can look at this now as you know, 
that there's some special properties to them. The trapezoid has parallel lines and we've learned certain things about shapes with parallel lines. Um, the kite has congruent sides and we've learned certain things about shapes with congruent sides. And if you look at the next examples, uh, see if you can kind of like figure out the problem itself and reason all the way through. And then you can also watch the next videos uh, for all of the details. As always, keep working hard, ask for, ask for help whenever you need it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.